will be a really quick tour of the USDA's cotton testing lab in East Tennessee. Cotton comes in in bags from gins across the United States in these large bags. And each of those bags are brought in for conditioning. The samples are individually taken out and placed into trays where they can get used to the elements that they have here in the lab. Each one of those also has a barcode with it. Um, and you'll see as it moves through the system, they are actually conditioning the air so that the heat and the humidity are very similar for the testing to be consistent among samples. Those samples are then tested once they should have reached the right level. And a technician will test those and then pull those into the testing lab. Until they reach that perfect temperature and humidity, they won't go in there. As you can see, lots of samples come through. Every bale grown in the U.S. is actually going to be tested. This is one of the testing areas where you actually see her preparing a sample. And a small amount um, is going to go into the Micronair chamber. This first large amount is going on a camera. It's going to test for the whiteness, the trash in there. And then as she pushes that other sample in, Micronair or maturity is being measured. Air is going to be forced over that. You can tell as it's ready, it pops out. And what that helps is, is how much resistance in that no weight of fiber there was for the air to go around it. And then she'll put the bar tag and everything back with the fiber, put it in a tray for other testing. Here's another view of the same system. You see she's read the bar tag. She takes that lint off the scale, puts it in the micronair chamber, and then uh, she's already had the lint in the color and trash section. Then again, puts that barcode with it so that it's totally traceable all the way back to the farm. Then you see here what she's going to do is she's going to comb out. You see the machine is pulling that apart, and then you can see small amounts of lint being brushed out there. As that happens, it's going to come into a machine. We see it from the other side. There's the brushing. And then it comes into the machine. It's going to test streaks, length, uniformity, and elasticity. You can tell now that sample's been broken. It's really straight across. Now the second sample's going to be broken as well. This gentleman is actually checking, um, just going back through the barcodes and doing a visual spot check. A lot of these samples um, are spot on from the beginning, but they do want to have the ability to do some retesting in the event that they found the sample is, a, is a unique within the bale as a total. Um, this gentleman mentioned that there was some changes year to year. As you can see here, um, the technicians are going to be busy during harvest time. You can imagine as cotton farmers are harvesting their crops, they want to know the real value of it quickly. Thanks a lot to the folks at the USDA AMS in Memphis, and uh, hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit about the testing of quality. It makes a difference in your jeans and your sheets. Thanks. J.P. 